Good afternoon, good evening, whatever the time of the day you're watching this. Timur Rachmatov, tax consultant, here to answer your questions. Today we're going to talk about Social Security benefits and retirement plan. Social Security is part of the retirement plan of almost every American worker. If you're among that 96% of people who are covered under Social Security, then you should know how the system works. And you should also know how much you'll receive when you retire. How do you qualify for the benefits? How your age and earnings can affect your benefits? And what you should consider in deciding when to retire? And fourth is why you shouldn't rely only on Social Security for your retirement. Well, let's address the first question. How do you qualify for Social Security benefits? When you work and pay Social Security taxes, you earn credits towards your Social Security benefits and the number of credits depend on when you were born. If you were born after 1929, then you need 40 credits, which translates into pretty much 10 years of work. And if you stop working, all your credits will be saved on your social security account. And when you later return to work, you can earn enough credits to qualify for a social security benefit. Remember, Social Security won't give you any benefits until you reach that 40 credits. How your earnings and age can affect your Social Security benefit. Your benefits will be based on your earnings during your lifetime career. Higher lifetime earnings will result in higher benefits, but if you had some years you didn't work or had a lower income, then your benefit payments will be lower than if you worked steadily. Uh, the age at which you retire also affects your benefit payments. If you retire at age 62, the earliest possible retirement age, your Social Security benefit will be reduced by 30%. At 63, it's 25, at 64, it's 20, and it goes down all the way to 65 when it's reduced by 6.7%. Uh, when to retire is a very important and personal decision. Uh, so it's a best practice to talk to Social Security Administration, see your choices, and make a decision from there. And why should I rely only on Social Security benefit for your retirement. A lot of financial advisors say that you need around 70% uh, of your pre-retirement income, uh, including your Social Security benefit, investments, and other personal savings to live comfortably. If you want to travel, eat fancy food, you should probably start saving now. Uh, so my suggestion is talk to your financial advisor and see what investment opportunities that are available to you. And there are a lot. Uh, for example, there are IRAs, Roth IRAs, annuities, stocks and bonds, even real estate. So talk to your financial advisor and start saving now. When we answered all, all the questions above, I want to uh, touch on two points before concluding this video. Uh, first is living abroad and second is taxability of your social security benefits. Living abroad. If you're a citizen and live abroad, you can receive your social security benefits with no effect. However, there are certain countries that administration cannot send your payments to. They are Azerbaijan, Belarus, Cuba, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, North Korea, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, and Uzbekistan. However, social security administration can make an exception for certain beneficiaries if you meet their conditions. So if you live in one of those countries, uh, my suggestion is to talk to your Social Security Administration and see your options. And the last point is taxability of your Social Security benefits. When you retire, you still pay taxes. If you didn't know, 40% of beneficiaries pay taxes on their Social Security. For instance, if you file taxes as an individual and your combined income is between $25,000 and $34,000, you may pay taxes up to 50% of your benefit. If you make uh, more than $34,000, then you may pay taxes up to 85% of your Social Security benefit. So come see us. Uh, we're going to show you how to save on taxes even if you make $34,000 or above. When you retire or if you haven't retired, come see us. Uh, we're going to help you have to postpone taxes so you can on a lower bracket. Not now. If you're making lots of money now, then it's not beneficial for you to pay taxes at this moment. Uh, we're going to show you, we're going to teach you how to save on taxes right now and in the future. Till the next time.